Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, this game. I'm actually deciding to complete this, um, this uh, entire level, I guess. As well. Unfortunately, I have no idea where the other Mumbo tokens are. And I think they're supposed to be in this level, but. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. Okay. Alright, so there's somewhere around here, of course. Now, it just begs the question, where exactly? Ah, oh, shit balls. Ah, oh, fuck no. <laughs> it's hilariously ridiculous. This game is entirely hilarious. One reason why I like it so much. Hello. One more to go. So that means I just need to find one more token. Which shouldn't be too difficult, because it's not like the level's that big anyway. It's a very good job on Rareware to make an opening level that is, in itself, very small. So that way you can get used to the controls, in a sense. I like it when games do that kind of stuff. But enough mumbo-jumbo actual video game talk. Let's get to rambling bullshit. Which everyone loves in Let's Plays, right? I should know, I've been doing this for like fucking three years now. Actually, I've been doing it. I didn't do it for three years, so. Nothing in there. There, bitch. One thing I noticed in Banjo 2 which I was playing earlier, because I wanted to play Banjo 2 but I couldn't, so I decided to. I just played Banjo Tooie because it's essentially the same thing. I still like Banjo Tooie though. Really fucking cool game. But like, they changed some things like your, your basic attack. Your basic attack is not a claw set anymore. It is this weird thing you do with Kazooie. Like she'll just attack like the, like do, do something like this, but on the ground. So there's that. That's a thing that. Shit! Sorry, we were trying. Crits wanted to do a uh, TF2 earlier, and uh, there were some issues, so I decided to just play Banjo Kazooie because I wanted to. I've been wanting to all goddamn day because I love this game. somehow murder lies you in the place. And I can't stop the game from doing that weird pausing thing that it's been doing. I can't stop that. Or at least I don't know how to. Because I told you there'd be some issues. Because like Project 64 is not as refined, at least for me, as uh, EPSXC, which is the PlayStation email. I, I could have sworn I just saw it. No, I guess it was also fish. Damn it, where is this stupid to token? Where are you, token? I would like to find you and use you. What the fuck was that? Random ass dog. Going like someone was eating it or something. At least we can listen to this wonderful music. I mean, 
mean, there are other video game music soundtracks that I prefer over Banjo Kazooie, but I still think Banjo Kazooie has a good soundtrack. No, it's not up top. Is it up top in the front? No, it's not up there. I have no idea where this stupid thing is. So, you know what? We're just going to leave this level. And everything you do in each level, unfortunately, gets reset when you leave it. So, like, oh, 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 here it is. Okay, never mind that. Never mind, never mind. Let's just go. But everything in the level gets reset when you leave. So, there's that. Which is upsetting. But, well, at least it doesn't fucking kick you out of the level when you fucking finish something. <laughs> Hello, Mambo. Uh, Banjo has plenty of tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see the mighty Mambo magic. Yes, very mighty indeed. It requires time to go. And you wear a diaper. I wonder what you look like without that mask. Mambo's magic free to change back. Alright, oh, oh, Wait, that's your first spell? Did what you fucking tell me you were a master of this shit? I am adorably creepy. I always do I never really the, the legs are really creepy, but the face is adorable. But termite can, the termite cannot attack. I wonder where Kazooie goes whenever I transform, because it's all it always does this. Like Kazooie will just like disappear. Shit. At least I don't take fall damage like I usually do. Yeah, there is fall damage in Banjo Kazooie, but like there is fall damage in other really good platformers too, like Mario. Well, at least 3D Mario's. Which that one I understand. 2D platforming uh, should never have fall damage. 3D platforming is an entirely different story. Do is and don'ts of platforming. And I will take your notes, and I will fucking get them all, bitch. I will beat this level 100%, motherfucker! And there's nothing you can do to stop me! And I will pass you, because you're a bitch. Ow! Give me that cool backpack or else. No! It's my backpack. It's my backpack, motherfucker. Oh, and this stress inducing thing. Yeah, huh? Why? I'm just, I'm still caught up on it. Why? It's so fucking funny. Wee! Perfect fun. See? Apparently termites don't die when they fall a long distance. But bears? Well, to be fair, I guess they're excellent. Their skeleton is on the outside of their body, so... It is... You know, it's sad. Alright, Mumbo, shake your head. I will change it back. It's probably gonna be like 12 episodes in this. This is the only level I'm gonna spend two episodes on, really. Because, well, to be fair, I did spend some time on other stuff, so I probably would have finished. Uh, actually, maybe because I got to this level in like six minutes or so. In the last, in the last video. Actually, no. I probably would have finished in one video, so I will try not to spend more than. Because it's like, I think maybe eight levels in this game or so. Something like that. Eight or ten. I forgot what the next level is. It might be the beach level, which I'm not too big a fan of, but I can deal with it. Thank you, Bottles, for that wonderful information. And that was not sarcastic, that was actually honest. Oh, I need to be a termite. Shit. I'll be right back. This all could have been avoided if I had just done this, because I forgot that Mambo's magic does wear off. I want them. Mambo's magic can be and we'll turn back and watch the magic go. Magical, no, I'm, I'm 
wonder what it feels like to constantly change. Oh wait, no, that you can only go there in Banjo 2. Banjo 2 actually takes place when you beat Grunt. And it is pretty good. And it's it's a good game. You should check it out. Not as good as the first one. Okay, come on. Blah 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 blah. Comedy routine. Blah 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 blah. Yes, blah 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 blah. I like Grunchy's Lair. Grunchy's, Grunchy's Lair is a really cool hub world. But I'm one of those people who like, uh, I prefer a hub world that has personality, but is a lot simpler to navigate. Because, like, this, this area is difficult to navigate, because, like, when you want to go to a level that's on the other side of the lair, you have a lot of traveling to do. So, that kind of sucks. And what is down here exactly? I forgot what's down here, I just hope it doesn't lead to a floating screen. Okay, hello. Oh, you're uh, one of those cauldron that uh, teleports me. Yeah, this, is, this is a fast way to get around, but even still, like, you have to unlock this stuff. Uh, 69. Hehehehe. 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 Himself chair. token. I forgot you could find those in Grunty's Lair. By the way, side note, when you get a game over, it leads to... Sexy Grunty. I'm not kidding. And honestly... I can't complain. Shut up, don't fucking judge me. Remove pieces you've already put down, press it down, see button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. FOREVER! Until I should try to deliver him. Um, okay. Treasure, uh, cold today. Or treasure trove go. Never mind. I do like how the main theme changes whenever you change <laughs> areas, which is nice. I hate how the game constantly freezes though after after a moment though. Not to get used to it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do. Did you guys ever watch Kaplam? It was on my top 10 TV shows. Spider Lose for the but Kaplam was there. And there was, uh, it was Action League Now. And the scientist, or the doctor, or whatever his name was, he would always say, there's nothing I can do. Like, there was literally never anything to do. Because he, he, he's fucking useless. I think there was like one or two episodes where he actually did something. But like, well, he usually did something to help, but. At that point, it's like, oh, there's nothing I can do. It's like, come on, bitch. Do some science or doctoring shit. You know, what you're supposed to. Please stay calm. I'm just gonna go over here and we'll find like, some shit over here. And, well, if I can hit him, that'd be nice. Oh, fuck. Judy's fate is looking grim. It is because her brother is dead. Yeah, she always talks about it. I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Because apparently Kazooie doesn't know how to fly. Bullshit, that's fucking. Actually, that's what float. Whee! I guess we'll do a bit of this level, and I guess how it's gonna go is I will complete. Um, oh, there's, there's a jiggy I can get over here already. Hello, bitch. Nipper. Shit. Napper just disappears. He is straight up disappears. 
He was gone, never to be found ever again. Oh god, what's that never? Kinda creepy how he... Shit! That's so creepy in the background, isn't it? That's like spider legs. Oh, I didn't know I could just plow through them after that. Okay, that's useful. That is indeed useful! I don't know what I want to get in this level, actually. I'm probably gonna go for like maybe six jiggies. Seven. Let's go on seven. Seven is a good number to aim for. And maybe like 60. Bitch. <laughs> Usually fight notes and matches. Although in other major, uh, two of the entries are uh, actual punches, which come to like five notes each. Which I think is a cool way to get a slice up the notes in This game there are exactly the right. It's like chapters, I guess. They help unlock further bits of the game. At least in Spiral 2 they do. In Spiral 1 they're just there. Which are needed for merge and completion, but it's like that. Uh, if you're not going for hundred percent completion, you don't actually even need the game. Because in Spiral 2 and 3, there's money bags. Some treasure. I was like, I won't be able to sleep in there until he gets some treasure. From the dragons, because, you know, it's their treasure. That was stolen from them by. Uh, by not, or not by not, uh, the dorks. Oh, okay. crap. You bitch. You bitch. In my goddamn time. I forgot which level introduces uh, yeah, there's those little uh, thingies in there. But they have bees in them, so you've got to destroy them. You can use like the feathers or the bullet feathers. Spectral spirit and your internal fear of the unknown and shit. Some philosophical shit. There is a flying bit in this game. Or in this level. Gerard and Alex lost their shit on this Wait. <laughs> it is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I'm a pirate of come down with depression because I lost my treasure. That's literally why he's crying. It's because his treasure is gone. That's not annoying at all. 
I don't know, some, some of the voices are... Is a little annoying in this game. Some of them. Some of them I can tolerate. Like, uh, the main characters are fine. I guess it's a charm kind of thing. Or some shit. There's more treasure over there. And, and I just end up back. Safe and sound. And watch some treasure. There's a treasure in the fire. That'd be half of my. Oh, you burp. Of course. The hippo burps. And after I complete this jiggy, I will end this episode. Because it's 20 minutes in. And I like to be consistent with these big series. Let's go up here and see what's in here. So weird. He's just like, when he's like swimming, he looks like he's trying to stay above air. Like, oh no, God help me. Uh. I love how the music changes like periodically between the which is a nice, fantastic touch that I have. Take the rest of your treasure, motherfucker. Uh, me treasure. Get fucking present or something. Just spend, spend, spend. Where the fuck does he go? Where does he go? We'll never know. Ever. Because the game kind of did discontinue. But yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also make sure to check out my supporters. All that great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Random dog barking. Peace out.